The Cats of Ancient India Long, long ago, there was only one gigantic man who lived in the whole universe. His name was Prusha. He had a thousand heads, a thousand eyes, and a thousand feet. The gods looked at Prusha and said, Let's make a world from this enormous man. So the gods turned Prusha's head into the sky and his eyes into the sun. They turned his legs into the earth. His breath became the wind. And out of his body, they made four different kinds of people. The first and most important people were the priests, the Brahmin. They came out of the Prusha's mouth. They were intelligent and wise. As they walked out onto the earth, they became the most honored people in India. They were given the most delicious food, the finest clothing, and the biggest houses. Out of Prusha's arms, the gods made the second kind of people, the noble warriors. They rode out onto the earth on strong, beautiful horses. Their job was to protect the priests from enemies and to rule India. They too had good food and fine clothing, but not quite as fine as that of the priests. Then the gods made traders and farmers out of Prusha's knees. The traders bought and sold goods. The farmers grew crops and raised their animals. They worked hard every day. They had enough food to keep them from going hungry, warm clothes, and dry houses. Their lives were harder than the lives of warriors and priests. Finally, the gods came to the bottoms of Prusha's feet. Out of his feet, they made a humble group of people, the servant. Servants were not allowed to learn how to read and write. Instead, they spent their lives taking care of the priests, the warriors, and the traders and farmers. These four groups of people became known as castes. If your family belonged to the farmer caste, you could only grow up to be a farmer. You could only marry someone who was also born to be a farmer. You could never be a warrior or a priest. And if your parents were servants, you were doomed to be a servant. Priests, warriors, farmers, and traders expected you to serve them for the rest of your life. You would never learn how to read or to write. You would spend the rest of your life cooking, washing, and cleaning for someone else. But the poorest people in India were those who didn't belong to the caste system at all. They were called untouchables. They weren't priests or warriors or farmers and traders or even servants. They belong to the poorest, most miserable families in India. The untouchables did all the dirtiest jobs in ancient India. They buried dead animals, cleaned the street, worked in the fields, and picked up trash. They weren't allowed to drink water from public wells or to use the same dishes as people from the four castes. The Hindus believed that touching an untouchable world uh, the Hindus believed that touching an untouchable would make them unclean and they didn't even want to look at the untouchable who did the dirtiest jobs. These untouchables were called unseeables. They were only allowed to do their work at night. <gasps> It was a terrible thing to be born into an untouchable family. Untouchables were poor and badly treated. They weren't live in the city. They, they weren't allowed to go to the doctor when they were sick. Children from untouchable families couldn't go to school or grow up to do jobs that they liked. They had to collect the garbage and work in the fields like their parents. Thousands and thousands of people were untouchables in ancient India with no chance ever to be anything else. Uh, the story of caste, caste. 
System. Kasti System. System. Uh, car, uh, the first is the first cast is priest and second warriors, third farmer and servant. Uh, finally servant. This is cost for the under from on. 몸 아래 이거 하수 아래 뭐야 언덜 서벤 더 언덜 오브 서벤 언덜 더 서벤 언덜 더 서벤 워스 언더 처버 언더 처버 워스는 서벤 카스트 because people don't want to see didn't want to see these people So uh, they say unstable. 